It's a pleasure to be in Canada with the Ukrainians. I wish to congratulate the Edmonton annual Ukrainian festival this year. And because I have some Ukrainian ancestral history, I wish to say a few words to you in your language. Him him. Mini duji priemno, butitut here, is vame ukrainsame on this duji veliki occasion. And I wish to thank the Ukrainian Women's League for their lovely gift of one dozen Ukrainian pisanka eggs. I know that we will enjoy them enormously for breakfast tomorrow morning. Enjoy the festival. Hello, I'm Luba Goy and I'm delighted to be part of the Ukrainian festival in Edmonton, Alberta, the annual festival, which this year is virtual. And um, I've been asked to answer a few questions about myself. One of them was, what did I want to be when I grow up? Well, to be honest, I've never really grown up. I've always had this childlike spirit in me, but I um, did want to be a nun, very seriously. We had in Ottawa, I grew up in Ottawa, um, in the um, St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, and the nuns used to come and give, give us religious studies from the age of 8 to about 12. And I told Sister Ruth when I was 12 that I wanted to be a nun, I wanted to make a difference, uh, I wanted to be good and, and teach people things and help people. And uh, Sister Ruth looked at me and said, you know Luba, you can't have a beehive hairdo and a crinoline under your habit. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll become an actor, an actress, and dress up as a nun. And uh, I did become an actress, actor, comedian. Um, I became exactly what I loved best, performing, acting on stage from the age of three in the Ukrainian community. I was on stage reciting Taras Shevchenko. I was with the dance company when I was older in the choir, children's choir, Ukrainian school, Sum. It was all Ukrainian all the time and that's what I was happy doing, just being an actress. Also, I want to say that if you have children that want to be actors, please don't hold them back. You know, they have schools now. They have like university degrees in being comedians and acting. So if you have a child that has those dreams, don't hold them back. Just let them go. Mama did. Mama, tr you know, trusted that, that I would become a good actress. And see, I am. Hello, dobre ding. Hello, Alberta. Hello, Edmonton. Hello, Ukrainian festival. It's so exciting to be in the virtual world now. Yes, I can see everything on my computer. Well, my grandson's computer, yes. Uh, but uh, I want to say hello. I want to say, say give you a little um, uh, advice because uh, I'm Baba Safronia. Everyone calls me Baba. The teenagers, the old people, everyone calls me Baba. I'm here in my horod, in my garden. I've got my shovel. I've got my flowers, beautiful cosmos, yes. Um, they're beautiful. And, uh, you know, I have my torba. This I made on the bus. Yes, you can still see some blood on it, you know, because lots of labor in this. But now it is the COVID time. The COVID, terrible COVID time are... Our world is turned upside down, you know, and we have to wear the mask. It's not easy, but I made a special mask that is Ukrainian mask. It take a few days to embroider, and then you just you just take some some uh, uh, elastic bands to put around the ears. When you put this on, it says, "Don't touch me. I'm Ukrainian." Huh? So there you go. You make one like that, no one come near you. No six feet away. Now, the other thing is, I have a little business on the side. I, uh, you can go to eBay and um, you can uh, buy my chustke. 
like I wear my huska because I love my huska, but I am selling these on the eBay because we used to send these to Ukraina. Everybody wanted them. Oy, boboja, you know, they were asking for them. And look, I have so many. These are just a few, but how beautiful, eh? And um, nobody wants them now. They, we used to send them, and now they send them back. They go, no, we're not fashionable anymore, so we do not wear, we, we do not wear these anymore. And there you have it. Last time I went to a festival, I got a Cabbage Patch Kid. You remember the Cabbage Patch doll? Well, this is Nadia. She is a Cabbage Roll doll. She's a Kapusta Patch Kid. And um, when the child gets tired of playing with it, you can eat it. Nadia is fully edible. Yes, this is a, this is a, um, um, yes, a Cabbage Roll. And it says, uh, Kapusta Patch Kid Nadia, best before August 27th, 1985. Okay, that was a good year, and she's still tasty. You know, I have to say, my husband fed you. He, he's the caretaker in the Ukrainian hall. It's very hard now, because he's the caretaker, and he go every... Uh, three times a week, you know, he went and puts you, he clean you, he vacuum you, he, 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 he the dusting and, and the sweeping and the cleaning and the vacuuming uh, and, and um, sweeping. But at home, he doesn't lift a finger. That is woman's work. And fed you, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good man. We took the bus to Niagara. He got so excited. He go, oh, we're going to have fun. I go, no. Not Viagra, Niagara. Durne Cholovik, oi Boja, you know, Bodaya Hokachka Kopne, but he's a good man, yeah. Uh, on the bus, I don't like it. No, I don't like the bus, no, because the hair conditioning, they blow in your ear, it's not good for the kidney. Remember that. So don't sit near the window because it's too cold for the kidneys. And, you know, I'll be a proud, proud Ukrainian Canadian. Me, Canadian Ukrainian is a little joke there, right? Okay, so I am a proud, proud Canadian. This is the best country. You know, whether you're Anglophone or Francophone or Yukophone or got no phone at all, we are all the same under the skin. We have no clothes on. We're one big country of Canadian chooks. And that's why we have to stick together. We have to listen to each other. And um, my husband, he thinks he lives under the kovdra because COVID, you know, he goes, oh, me pit kovdru you hovayim. See, I go, no, 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 durne cholovik. It's COVID, COVID. That, bodai yoho kashka kop netoy COVID. It just turned our world upside down. But I have to remember, I have to always remember my poor grandparents when they came to this country. They crossed the whole country in a broken down rusty wagon. They jiggled back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth day after day after day with the screaming babies and terrible food and awful water. Oy, it was a hard, hard journey. Yes, my grandparents, they came by via rail. Via rail. And then they settled. And that's why I am a proud, proud, proud Canadian. And we have to love this country that is so, give us the freedom to do whatever we want. You know, you have to help people too. Remember to help someone. Call someone who's older, you know. Uh, make them, you know, something nice to eat, you know, something like that. Always remember to help each other and be a volunteer. That's what I am. I volunteer everywhere. Oh, every festival, I'm there. Oh, I have been many festivals. All the festivals in Canada, I have been there. I take the bus. It's no good for the kidney, but I, I have to get there somehow. So think of our national symbol, the Canadian symbol, the beaver. The lowly little beaver whose only preoccupation it is to build dams. Dam after dam after dam. In America, they have the mighty eagle ah, as their symbol. We have the lowly little beaver. And then it's dam after dam after dam. Dams, dams, and more dams. So remember, 
That is why Canada is the best damned country in the world. До побачення, всього найкращого вам. Будьте добрі. Слава Україні. Героям слава. Окей. Баба Сафроня. Signing off. And waving the flag. Thank you.